This is Ben from techlockdown.com. Search engines like Google and Bing have a built-in safe search feature that you can turn on if you want to hide explicit search results like images, videos, or just web pages that you can discover by searching for something on Google or Bing. Now you can voluntarily toggle on this feature, but in this video, I wanna show you how you can actually enforce the use of safe search so that it's locked on and that someone can't just turn it off. Check out the guide that I've linked below, which contains the written instructions to this video. It might be easier to pull this up in another tab and follow along with the video. Now there are actually a few ways to enforce safe search and I'm gonna go through all of the ones that I'm aware of and that I recommend in this video and we're going to cover both computers and smartphones. The most reliable way to lock on safe search is to use a DNS filtering service. Pretty much any DNS filtering service that focuses on blocking adult content should have some option to toggle on the safe search feature. So to get started, I'm gonna use the Tech Lockdown DNS content policy and I'm going to add a new safe search rule. You'll want to enforce safe search with the DNS filtering service, but you should also block search engines that don't support the safe search feature. And this prevents the obvious loophole of, you know, if you enforce safe search on Google, what's to stop someone from using a different search provider to look up explicit images or videos? Now all you need to do is connect your devices to your DNS content policy. I'd recommend setting up your router since this is a, a quick way to enforce safe search on all your home devices, but you should also set it up directly on your computers and smartphones so that when you're away from home and you're roaming on a four or 5G connection, that safe search is still enforced. Now this next safe search enforcement technique works on Windows and Mac computers, and I personally use it alongside the DNS content policy because it works great as a fallback layer. So it's a second thing that must be disabled to get around safe search enforcement. You can copy and paste the safe search entries that we've detailed in the guide into your computer's host file. We actually have a dedicated video for Windows and Mac computers on how you edit the host file and use it to block websites for free. So check out that video and then reference the guide below to copy and paste the safe search entries. If you're using the Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge browsers on your Windows or Mac computer, you can lock on the safe search setting within the browser so that it can't be changed from just accessing the browser settings. Now this works alongside the host file technique and also the DNS content policy. So basically this gives you three layers of safe search enforcement on a Windows or Mac computer, making it more likely that safe search will remain enforced and that someone will be discouraged from trying to get around this because there's just so many things that have to be turned off to access unfiltered search results. Now there's one other safe search enforcement technique that I wanna call out specific to the iPhone, and that involves turning on the limit adult websites option within screen time, or if you're using supervised mode, you would toggle on the same option within the tech lockdown Apple config generator. This should also act as an additional way to lock the safe search settings for Google, and this works alongside the DNS content policy. I'd highly recommend setting up supervised mode on your iPhone or iPad because you can use supervised mode to lock the DNS settings on the device so that it's always pointed to your DNS content policy, which ensures that safe search enforcement is not bypassed. Safe search is generally pretty effective at removing the adult content from search results, especially images and videos, but I'll say that it's definitely not a perfect system. You might find that there are some results that Google decides not to filter out, which aren't necessarily considered to be adult content, but you'd rather not allow someone to discover. So in this case, the common question I get from people is, you know, can you block specific search queries in addition to using safe search? There are actually some ways to block specific keyword searches, but I don't recommend this to people because there's so many variations and synonyms that you have to account for that it generally is not a very effective approach. What I'd recommend instead is to use screen monitoring alongside safe search enforcement. I actually helped launch a screen monitoring app for iPhone and iPad called Living Room for Families, and this app takes periodic screenshots on the device, and regardless of the browser that's being used, you'll be able to review screenshots shots of exactly what's being searched for. The person using the device sees a recording indicator so that they know that they should be on their best behavior. It's a great solution for parents who are trying to make a device safe for kids, but adults can also use it too. I hope this video has been helpful. Please leave a comment or a question below and thanks for watching.